Welcome to BMI and You. Before we get into answering some common BMI questions, let's take a look at some overweight and obesity issues happening right now in the U.S. For instance, did you know that one in three children is considered overweight or obese? Or the percentage of children who are overweight has more than doubled in the past 30 years. For children, those extra pounds can add up to serious health problems, often for life. In fact, being overweight or obese puts you at an increased risk for conditions like a greater risk of heart disease, an increased risk of developing cancers, a much greater risk of developing type 2 diabetes, an increased risk of high blood pressure, a risk of developing sleep apnea, a risk of mental health problems, and overweight children suffer higher rates of bullying. Also, these risks don't end with childhood. Overweight children are more likely to become obese adults. So now we know some of the possible issues with being overweight or obese. Let's take a look at some common questions about weight and BMI. What is the difference between overweight and obese? Overweight and obese are both labels for ranges of weight that are greater than what is generally considered healthy, according to a person's weight and height. Overweight means that you most likely weigh more than what is considered healthy, and obese means that your weight is considerably more than what is recommended, meaning that you are at an even greater risk for health problems. You can determine your possible risk by calculating your BMI and BMI for age. What does BMI mean? BMI is your Body Mass Index. It's a screening tool, a calculation that uses height and weight to identify possible weight problems for adults and children. BMI is not a diagnostic tool. It does not tell us what problems may exist, if any at all. It's like a warning signal telling us that something may be wrong. What does that mean? Well, your BMI includes both fat and muscle, so you could have an alarming high BMI, but have a lower amount of actual body fat than others in your weight and age category. Why? Because you may have a lot of lean muscle weight. This sometimes happens to athletes or those on a heavy weightlifting program. So that's why we need doctors. That's right. It's really important to go and see your family doctor or pediatrician if you have a concern about your BMI. They are BMI experts and can tell if excess weight is truly a health risk. Then what does BMI for age mean? BMI for children, like you and young adults, ages 2 to 20, is called BMI for age. Why? Because body fat changes as you grow. So BMI for age is tracked on separate growth charts to determine a percentile. A BMI percentile indicates how your measurements compare to others of the same age and gender. Here's an example. A child whose BMI is at the 50th percentile is close to the average population. And a child that is above the 95th percentile is considered obese because 95% of children or 95 out of 100 children at that age and height weigh less than that child. How concerned should I be about my latest measurements? You should be mindful of all your measurements, but keep in mind that checking your growth over time is more important than any one-time measurement. And it's necessary for you and all children, regardless of their BMI, to be active and eat healthy. I hope this BMI presentation has been informative for you and your family. For more information, tips on eating right and getting active, please visit PennStateHershey.org slash ProWellness. Champions for bringing healthy choices to life.